The pandemic, inflation, the war in Ukraine. Who couldn't use a little time out? Here's Nancy Giles. Are you a high class lady? I'm not, I don't know if I'm really a lady, but I talk a lot. If you'd like to know what kids these days think about money. Where do you think money comes from? The dollar store. I think it comes from the ground sometimes, like quarters. Love? Love is like a feeling that feels good inside of you and it makes you kind of a little bit ticklish. I used to only pee like a drunk. Even peeing their pants. If you need to go, you need to go. If you don't need to go, you don't need to go. You gotta do what you gotta do. Julian Shapiro Barnum can tell you. Have people compared you to like a Mr. Rogers? I get a lot of Steve from Blue's Clues. I get it for the younger folks. From the Toluca Lake School. For some, this may bring you back to the days of Art Link Letters, Kids Say the Darndest Things. What would you do, Dana, if you were the president of the United States? I would call my mom and say, I made it. <laughs> Does being short hold you back? Not at all. These days, 22-year-old Julian Small but mighty. You are. is spending Actually, most of his time with kids it. 2 to 8. Do you eat meat? Yeah, I'm a redhead. What? Hey folks, I'm on vacation right now. Let's talk to some kids about it. <laughs> He's the host and creator of Recess Therapy, a viral YouTube and Instagram series. Not everybody gets to be on vacation, and I feel like I'm lucky to get to be here. The idea came to Julian while doing his senior year at Boston University from home. We would always see the neighborhood kids like playing and having a lot of fun and they were also doing online school, but they didn't seem as miserable as we were. <laughs> so I was like, let's ask them how they stay happy. But it's not all fun and games. All of them are freaked out about like climate change and racism. If you were president of the United States, what would you do? Well, for one, I'd probably work on it, stopping it, like it, uh, racism. I want to change climate. How so? Because I don't want the earth to get polluted. I see so many kids having had conversations about that already. Julian was raised in Brooklyn, which is also where he shoots most of the episodes. I'm always recording in the places that I played in as a kid, right. which is cool because I'm like, I know that swing. Aww. Like, I, I get the geography of it. So today we are interviewing... With a microphone and stickers... Yeah, do you want a sticker? He hits the farmer's market this busy Saturday with camera person Julia Ty Goldberg. That's pretty cool. Do you, like, look around and you see a particularly active kid and think, yeah. oh, that's the one, or do you just stop people at random? Julia and I, we always look for a kid who's like dressed fun. Oh my. Cause that, you know, that's personality right, inside it. Right. Though. But uh, we also look for kids who are talkative and, and you know, kids who look open. Mm -hmm. Do not be a hateful person. One open nice kid was Dash. And kind person that helps people. With parents Edison Bond and Nadine Valme looking on. Now, as parents, to hear him speaking so eloquently about these emotions, what's that like for you to hear Dash talk about things like that? I would say it's rewarding, you know, to, to know that the things that we are teaching him, uh, he uses it on a daily basis. All of us feel, and Julian starts the day with a topic in mind. So we're out here today to see if kids have any advice on dealing with hate. But is always ready to pivot. With more than a thousand interviews under his belt, He's got a pretty good sense of what kids want to talk about. Anything about animals? Okay, I love Komodo dragons. Why? Just because, like, I never see them. Please, please tell me what animal would you be? Yes, skunk! <laughs> <laughs> Recess Therapy has over a million followers around the world. So that's kind of like what hate looks like for her. Up until now, it's been mostly a local operation. But this summer, Julian plans to take recess therapy on the road because the lessons are universal. We can't change the past, but we can change the future. So you should love yourself as What much can as adults as in life. general learn from kids? So much. I, I think empathy is a huge one. I think kids enter situations without that extra critical layer. If you're having a hard time, just talk with your friends and talk with your parents. And you can feel much better. They are still in the process of learning, and I think adults can try to be a little bit more in the process of learning. 
How do you recommend that we make people listen to each other and communicate better? I think that the differences actually is better because maybe you could learn from your differences. That's awesome. Thanks, Marquette.